So we're in the first half of 2024. And since I'm a huge LG fan, my comments and my DMs compels me to make this video to answer the ultimate question about LG phones. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and my honest opinion about owning LG devices in 2024. So stop everything that you're doing. Just stop what you're doing. Get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So yes, I'm still a LG fan. I mean, I'm a huge LG fan. With all the hype about all the new tech toys that's coming out this year, a lot of people asking the question, is it time to move on? So first of all, we're only two months into 2024. So what happened? Did all the LG phones all of a sudden stop working? Did it stop making phone calls? Has your LG device camera system stopped working all of a sudden? Did the battery life all of a sudden stop working? Are you unable to connect to your service provider? You lost 5G? What did, did the headphone jack stop working? I mean, did it stop working all of a sudden? Are you unable to open the Play Store? Are you unable to download apps? Are you unable to update your apps on your LG device? Did YouTube stop working on your LG devices? All of a sudden, everything stopped working? Are you unable to play games on your device? All of a sudden, in 2024, did an apocalypse start? I mean, I don't know. Did anything happen to your LG phone? Did the dual display stop working? Because I want to know. Because I've been using my LG V60, and when 2024 hit, it's still working smooth and fluid. I haven't had anything happen from December 31st, 2023 to January 1st, 2024. My LG devices hasn't missed a beat. So what happened? What happened? Oh, I know what happened. I know what happened. You guys are listening to people out there on the internet that don't even own LG devices, telling you to give up on your LG devices. Go out with a bang and drop hundreds of dollars on the new latest and greatest. That's what people is telling you. People is telling you to give up your device to go with the latest and greatest, spend all your hard earned money because they're telling you, you are missing out on a lot of stuff, all the hypeness on the latest and greatest stuff. Hmm, now I see what's going on. Well, Here's what I say, would say about that. If you believe that it's time to move on, then it don't take me or anybody else to tell you that you can move on. Plus, I made a video with my recommendations to all LG fans if they want to move on, the devices that I picked. So, you know, it's okay to move on. It's okay to say goodbye to your LG devices. If you believe that the wheels have fell off on your LG devices and it's time to move on, then move on. But you know what? For me, the wheels haven't fell off my LG V60s yet. So I'm still rocking and rolling because guess what? The cameras still work and it's still top notch. My dual display still work and it's top notch. My pen still work. My battery still runs great. It's very strong. Look, I'm running two custom launchers on my devices, Nova launcher, and I'm using the Star Trek launcher. And guess what? It don't change. Don't matter what operating system I'm running. It's still fast and fluid. No issues at all with my LG V60. But you know what? I understand. You want Android 14 because it's going to give you something groundbreaking, something you never had before, something you never saw before. Android 14 is going to be groundbreaking for you. You know what? If that's the case, then go grab the latest device. Look, I'm here for you no matter what. I'm here to help you no matter what. I'm here to give you the best options to move on. I've made a video about it. One thing that I would say, to my LG community. Don't let no one influence you to give up your beloved device. That's working great for you. Now, if you have issues and you believe it's time to move on, it don't take me to tell you that. 
move on. Here's what I want to tell you, right? Don't let nobody put pressure on you to give up your beloved device. Don't let nobody tell you to give up your device if you're not ready to give up on your device. You know what it is? People tell you to give up on your device. You know what I want you to do when somebody tell you to give up on your device? Tell them, listen, my LG device worked great for me, but if you want me with the latest and greatest, if you believe you that I got to give up my device, why don't you buy it for me? And look at the reaction. Two things go happen. They're going to get ghosts or they go change the subject and say, well, if you want to hold on to it, that's all on you. Look at the reaction of people if you flip the script on them. So let me give my thoughts as we recorded this video in 2024. The LG V60 is still one of my daily drivers. Now you have to remember I rock three phones, but the LG V60 will always be in my pocket. You know why? Because the wheels haven't fell off yet on that device. And you know what? When it do, I'll let you know. I won't tell nobody that rock an old device that's working great for them to give up their beloved device to upgrade. And it don't have to be LG phones. It could be an old iPhone. I tell you, my parents, my daddy is running an iPhone 8. You know why? Because it, it, it's worked for him. He don't want to give it up. He love it. It make phone calls. It does everything that he wanted to do. So it's not up to me to force anybody not even my own parents to get a new latest and greatest device. When they love their current device, when they get up and they pick their phone up and make a phone call, it works. When they open up an app, it works. When they take a photo, it works. So at the end of the day, listen, I know we YouTubers and we, we make videos about all the latest and greatest. But if you watch my YouTube channel, if you follow me, I always talk about rock devices till the wheels fall off. I know what a lot of people are saying. The new latest and greatest devices give you seven years of updates. And then come next year, when all those people that's rocking devices, that buying them this year, next year, they're going to give up all those old devices because they're going to call it old and get their newer devices. And they're going to influence you to keep upgrading every year, every year. Even though devices will have seven years of uh, shelf life on them, well, seven years of updates on them, a lot of people go tell you in 2025, it's time to upgrade. In 2026, they go tell you that the pixels and the, the, the iPhones and the Galaxy phones that you just bought is old. We seeing that right now. We seeing that, that people is telling people that if they have Galaxy S22s, it's time to give it up. If they got Galaxy S23s, they telling people that it's time to give it up. Listen, man, on this YouTube channel, I'm going to tell you if it's working great for you, rock it till the wheels fall off. I would never influence nobody to upgrade their devices because at the end of the day, we talk about devices that cost over $1,000. Well, except for the OnePlus device, which to me, if you're going to upgrade, I would lean towards OnePlus devices. But if your devices is working great right now and is doing everything that you want it to do, what is you worrying about upgrading for? Sit back and relax and let your device work for you. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, this is Eric the Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about people telling people, and I'm getting a lot of DMs and people asking me the question, is it time to give up? You be the judge for yourself. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.